Hello and welcome to the Film Story Recap Channel. What would it be like to ride a train with a zombie? The front and back of the car are full of deadly zombies. There is hardly any room for survival. This is a train from Seoul to Busan. An injured woman stumbles into the car without attracting the attention of the crew. She faltered through the aisle. She was already unconscious when the crew found her. The steward sought help from his colleagues. The unconscious woman got back to her feet. Then she viciously jumped on the steward. The attendant dragged the woman who had bitten her toward the carriage. Passengers who noticed the anomaly were still sitting in their seats, watching the action, until the discovery of the stewardess also mutated biting. People realized that something was wrong. Then came the male stewardess saw the scene in front of the shocked and rushed to escape while running away and urging the passengers in the carriage to run for their lives. A large number of passengers poured into the first few carriages. Xiaowen, who was using the toilet, heard the screams of the crowd outside the door, seeing the infected mutated zombies gradually approaching this way. Her father was already frozen in front of her. She called out to her dad. Her father came back to his senses, picked her up, and ran forward and behind her was a steady stream of zombies, seeing that they are about to reach the safety of the carriage, but a walker was in the way. Sukyu grabbed the baby and rushed forward. There was another zombie in front of him, biting people. He was holding the child in his arms and didn't know what to do. A couple appeared in time to distract the biting zombie. Sangwa pushed the zombie into the toilet. He told his pregnant wife to run. The people in the front compartment were ready to close the door to protect themselves. The child recognized the couple who had just saved them. Sukyu opened the door and told them to hurry in. The zombies behind them were shut out of the door. This group of zombies does not seem to have intelligence. They will only attack when they see a human. People cover the glass doors with newspapers. The zombies gradually regain their silence. At this point, the conductor informed the train that the next station would not stop. This means that they have to stay on a train with the zombies for a longer time. Passengers asked the conductor why the train would not stop at the next stop. The conductor said this is the arrangement of the control center. At this point, the train suddenly slowed down. The people on the platform who wanted to get on the train were desperately tapping on the windows. They looked outside, and the situation was not much better than on the train. A large number of zombies were hunting the crowd on the platform. The news downplayed the zombie incident as a national riot. The government says it will commit the military to respond. The safety of the people is not a problem, but bloodthirsty zombies are everywhere outside. The people on the train started to move to the cars further ahead. The space in which humans can survive is getting smaller and smaller. They can only stand in the aisles. The radio plays again. The train will stop at Taejun Station. The government has placed troops at Taejun Station. Will suppress riot situations in the car. People contacted their friends to find out about the situation in Taejun. Sukyu contacted an officer in the army who was one of his clients. He was told that the army was guarding Taejun, but they will be quarantined soon after they get off the train. To ensure the safety of his daughter, the officer told him to come from the east side of the square. He will say hello to the people over there. The train slowly pulled into Oda Station. The platform was deserted. Everyone walked safely through the waiting hall. It is clear that there was a riot here not long ago. Sukyu took his daughter in the direction of East Square. A beggar followed them all the way. He heard the conversation between Sukyu and the officer. The beggar saw a soldier wandering across the passage. He called out and ran over. Sukyu told the child to stay where he was and not to move. He ran over to check the situation. That's when he got the call from the officer. He said that he had lost contact with the troops at Taejun Station. It was only then that Sukyu saw clearly that the soldier was covered in wounds. And behind them, a large group of zombies swarmed. The situation on the other side was not good either. Everyone is slowly going down the escalator. A large group of soldiers was guarding the exit. But when they turned around, people found them all turned into zombies. The panic-stricken people rushed back. Sukyu froze for a few seconds, then looked back at her daughter. Crowds have started to run for their lives to the station platform. There are already zombies lunging at Xiaowen. Luckily, Sangwa stepped forward and crashed through the zombie. The pregnant woman came forward in time to take Xiaowen away. But Sukyu was jumped by the zombie. He pushed a book in his hand against the zombie's teeth. But he was pinned to the ground and could not move. The beggar covered the zombie's head with his coat. The zombie who couldn't see the target immediately let go of his hands. More and more zombies poured into the station. People used glass doors to block the zombies outside. Passengers who fled into the platform in a hurry to get on the train, but accidentally opened the carriage with the walkers in it. The steward on the other side of the platform let everyone back the way they came. Rongsi pushes the stewards and tells them to get on the train. At this time, 
Everyone was thinking about themselves, but they didn't care about other people's lives. The zombies in the waiting hall found the people on the platform. They broke through the windows and landed on the roof of the train. A zombie landed directly between the old sisters next to them. Both of them were scared by the zombie in front of them and fell to the ground. The pregnant woman and Shoan took the older sister and ran to the other car. The train steward and cheerleader took another grandmother back to another carriage. They had just closed the door when the falling walkers lunged at them. The three Shoan also found a train car and hid inside. The beggar also came up later. They had a thrilling escape. People had a hard time locking the glass doors. As more and more zombies poured in, cracks soon appeared in the glass door. The next moment the glass door was shattered by a cascade of walkers. The train on the platform was already starting slowly. The baseball players running in front of them didn't know that the platform was already flooded with zombies. Just as they reached the platform, they were jumped and bitten by the walkers. Sukyu pulled the frightened Rongwa and ran onto the train that was already moving. Sangwa frantically chased after the already moving train while trying to deal with the oncoming zombies. He was finally pulled onto the train at the last minute. The carriage that the pregnant woman boarded in a hurry was not safe. The doors of the front and rear cars were wide open. There were walkers roaming both ends. She quietly led everyone into the toilet in the aisle. But the last moment before closing the door was still found by a zombie. Their movement attracted the attention of all the zombies in both cars. The zombies poured into the toilet. The four of them had to fight against the door and wait for help. The front of the train was protected by the door. They used the powder from the fire extinguisher to block the view of the zombies. The conductor informed everyone that the train would be heading directly to Busan. The cheerleader received a call from Rongwa reporting his safety. She cried out in tears. None of the team members survived except him. Sangwa also dialed his wife's phone, but it was Shoan who answered the phone. They were locked in the bathroom of car 13, but now Sangwa and the others are in car 9. The safe people are said to be in car 15. Three people equipped with weapons ready to go to the rescue. The three of them fought their way through car 10 with great effort. But the zombies in the next car were all members of the baseball team. Rongwa was hesitant to fight, but the train entered the tunnel while they were fighting. The three of them avoided the attack of the zombies. Successfully passed car 11, but there seemed to be more zombies in the next car. This time Sukyu was going to use the feature that zombies can only rely on their hearing in the dark. To attract them to the other end of the train, they managed to reach the toilet of car 13. Successfully met the pregnant woman and her daughter. They hid in the other toilet. The plan was to use the next tunnel to pass through the back of the car. But there were too many zombies in the carriage. They could only climb the luggage rack to move on. The beggar accidentally stepped on a can and attracted the attention of all the zombies. Everyone ran quickly into the next carriage. The door to car 15 was locked. The people behind the door were afraid they would be infected. They tied the door handle with a cloth. The cheerleader tried to open the door for them, but the steward covered her mouth. Sangwa tries to block the pursuing zombies. A zombie bit his hand. They had to break the door. Rongsi saw this and immediately ran over to try to stop them, but Rongwa put his hand in the doorway. The cheerleader and the old man came to help. People trying to stop the shutdown, and the carriage side of the zombie is about to break into the door. Sangwa can't stand watching his wife cry. He was about to be infected himself. He entrusted his wife to Suk Yu. One man stopped all the zombies. He was covered in the zombies and slowly mutated. Everyone opened the door at the last minute, but it was too late to save the old man who fell behind. Rongsi screams that the group is infected. More and more people are trying to blow them away, isolating them in the front compartment. Lock them on the other side with clothes. But the old woman in the carriage looks at her sister, who has been mutated. Sighing at the ugliness of humanity, she opened the car door in desperation. Instantly car 15 became a purgatory. Instead, those who were isolated became survivors. The train suddenly went through a violent crash. The train stopped at Dato Station because of a route break ahead. The conductor decided to change to another train to Busan. Everyone gets off the train, but a train on fire crushed them underneath it. The conductor finds Ronsi being chased by zombies. He gets off the train to help but becomes a scapegoat. Ronsi left him behind and ran onto the slow-moving train. On the other hand, the beggar blocks the zombies to save the pregnant woman and Xiaowen. Sukyu leads them in a desperate pursuit of the moving train, but the walkers kept coming to them. They managed to get on the train. A large number of zombies grabbed the train slowing it down. Sukyu kicks the hands of the zombies away, only to find a mutated Ronsi in the cab. Sukyu was also bitten in the battle with him. In his last moments of consciousness, he entrusted his daughter to the pregnant woman. He then locked herself out of the cab, thinking back to the image of her daughter's birth. 
He jumped from the train. The pregnant woman succeeded in reaching Busan with Xiaowen. They walked through the tunnel entrance. They were found by the military, who quarantined and prevented the disease and finally saved. This is where the story ends. The only people who survived were the pregnant woman and the child. One of them was pregnant with a new hope. One represents the hope for the future. They survived with kindness. This is probably a good reward for kindness. The movie is over. Welcome to subscribe to my channel. We will see you next time.